I need you to wake up, okay, baby? Gotta have a chance to tell you how sorry I am. Dante, would you mind a little company? Yeah. Um, you should, you should be in here. Actually, I came in here to have a conversation with you about Lulu's treatment. I mean, legally, I am the next of kin. I can make the decisions on my own, but you were her husband, you're Rocco's father, and I just feel it's right for you to have a voice. Thank you. What are, what are our options? She's not supposed to wake up anytime soon. <laughs> so, as much as it pains me, General Hospital and you, maybe even poor Charles may not be the right place for her medical care right now. What? What are you saying? What are you saying? You're gonna send her away? You're, you're like giving up on your daughter? Never give up on my daughter. I will never stop hoping and praying that she will come back to us, but the fact remains, these doctors have done absolutely everything that they can do for her right now. We must find a long-term care facility. And I want one with specialists, doctors and nurses who know how to deal with this. I just, I just want time with her, okay? I've, I've already wasted so much time with her. I just want more time with her. Please, can I have that? and try to make problems around Lulu's care. He actually said that he thinks I'm giving up on my daughter. Well, I hope you set him straight. You would never abandon Lulu. Unlike Dante, who divorced her, he doesn't get a say in Lulu's treatment. I know that, but he's Rocco's father. And it would be so much better if it didn't become a fight, you know? I'm gonna talk to him. No, no, no. Excuse me, Mayor Collins. You have some visitors. You're all here. What are you doing here? It's where it should have been all day. Thanksgiving isn't just about food. Monica's right, it's about family. You know, not just the family that you're, you're born into, but also the people you choose to make part of your life. And right now, it's the chosen family that's in need. So where else would we be? 